John Wick stars Keanu Reeves, Ian McShane, Mikel Nickfist, Dean Winters, Willem Dafoe, and is one of the coolest looking action films I've seen ever. Now some of you might be confused why I'm actually reviewing John Wick in 2015, because in this country it actually does class as a 2015 film. Um, I did explain this in a bit more detail at the start of my last video, the Birdman review, and I'm trying to get as many 2015 reviews done before the year is over so it can fit into my best of the year list. And I am so grateful to be bringing you John Wick, one of the best action films I've seen this year and just ever. Now I'm going to say this right off the bat, this is the best performance I've seen by Keanu Reeves ever. I mean, it's better than Point Break, it's better than Speed, it's better than Matrix. <clears throat> it's just so, so good. He gets to portray so many different emotions in this film. Mostly pissed off. <laughs> But it just, he does it so well and it works for this kind of film. The fact that this film looks so stylish and so cool kind of makes you forget that it's directed by a couple of professional stuntmen. I mean, you know the action's going to be good because it's helmed by professional stuntmen, but the fact that it looks so meticulous and so stylish and the camera work is just so fluid that you kind of forget that they are stuntmen and that this is their first time directing. I have to admit though because they are stuntmen it does make the action scenes way more entertaining than a lot of generic ones nowadays. There's no shaky cam whatsoever it's all fluid and smooth running and it is edited so so well. The soundtrack is also brilliant as well, it's like a watered down version of the Drive soundtrack or the Guest soundtrack which is another really stylish action film that I really liked from last year. The action looks really good, I mean because Keanu Reeves does about 95% of his own stunts it just looks so so believable and it looks brutal as well, I mean there are some scenes where I'm my toes are curling, it's just pretty harsh. Now I mentioned that Keanu Reeves is great in this film, but the villain is absolutely perfect as well. Mikel Nickfist is so so good, he's way better than he was in Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. I think he was underutilised in that film, but in this one he gets to show his evil side, and once you see him in, in work he looks like this guy, he he gets under your skin and it's just, you want John Wick to kick his ass. John Wick is one of the best action films I've seen of recent years. It also contains probably the best nightclub scene I have ever had witnessed to watch. It's just so, so well done and everything just falls into place so perfectly. If you haven't heard of this film, or if you haven't even seen it, I highly recommend that you go and check it out if you're a fan of Keanu Reeves or just action films in general. I'm giving it another very high 9 out of 10, and it's just so, so good. Okay guys, now that my older 2015 reviews are out of the way, I can start looking at the newer ones like Mockingjay Part 2, or Black Mass, and maybe Bridge of Spies, which I should get reviews to you guys within the next few weeks. If I don't, I'm so sorry. There are so many films this year that I've really wanted to see, but I just haven't got around to seeing them, like Sicario and Me, Earl and the Dying Girl. I missed them in the cinema, and now I've got to wait till they come out on Blu-ray. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you like, subscribe, and comment. Remember to like my Facebook page, The Media Critic, and yeah, that's it guys, thanks for watching, bye!